300 for this? YouTube family, what up though? If you didn't know, I'm DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. If you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button right now, and make sure you hit that bell notification button right next to it. Also, if you haven't already, be sure you're giving the kid a follow on all the major social media platforms. On this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a sneaker that has definitely lost its hype since it first released. The sneaker we're gonna take a look at on this episode is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700. I was able to cop a pair of these sneakers on the adidas.com restock, and surprisingly, it was a pretty easy purchase. Normally, getting a Yeezy sneaker on adidas.com is damn near impossible, but the ease that I was able to get on adidas.com and cop this pair of Yeezy sneakers had me wondering this. Is is the Yeezy hype dead? And my answer is, the Yeezy hype might not be completely dead, but it's for damn sure dying. Now I know some of y'all out there are gonna say this, Yeezys are dead, they sell out every time they release. That may be true, but we all know you can't really judge Yeezys off retail success. Of course, every time Adidas and Kanye release a sneaker, it's gonna sell out. I mean, this is Kanye West we're talking about, but in my opinion, you have to gauge Yeezy hype based off resale and resale only. Think about this for a second. When the earliest versions of the 350 V2s released, to get a pair on the resale market, you are almost guaranteed to pay over $1,000. Now, you can find the latest versions of the 350 V2s going for like 300 to 500 bucks. That low ass resale price for a 350 V2 alone shows you that the hype for Yeezys has dropped dramatically. And let's not even mention the Yeezy Calabasas, those are going for well below retail. And the fact that Adidas has already announced restocks of 350 V2s is only gonna make the resale price drop even more. I don't know what the hell Adidas and Kanye are gonna do to get that hype back up, but I do know one thing, whatever they got up their sleeve, they better do it fast. I mean, but who am I and what do I know? That's just my personal opinion. But what I want y'all to do is hit that comment section up right now and let me know if you think the Adidas Yeezy hype is dead. But when you write your comment, be sure to keep this in mind. I'm not talking about retail success. What I want you to do is keep in mind other aspects that may be contributing to the dying Yeezy hype. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know your honest opinion. While y'all are hitting that comment section up, let's go ahead and take a look at this Wave Runner 700. Now there are a million reviews of this Wave Runner 700 on YouTube, so I'm not even gonna waste y'all time and going through all the particulars about this sneaker. What I'm gonna do is pull this sneaker out of this box and tell y'all my honest opinion on the shoe. That's it, but I'm gonna tell y'all this, being that I paid $300 for this sneaker, oh, I'm gonna be critical as hell when I pull it out the box, bruh. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this sneaker. And this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700. And if I'm being honest with y'all, I'm not blown away by any stretch of the imagination. Just in case you haven't seen this sneaker, let me go ahead and give you the all around view of it. I mean, it's not an ugly sneaker by any means, but for $300, it's not really doing a trick for me. I'm just being honest. If I'm being honest about it, this sneaker is nothing but a glorified Walmart shoe. I mean, for real, if this sneaker did not have the words Adidas and Yeezy attached to it, would this sneaker be worth $300? No. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm going to rock the hell out of this shoe and I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. Even if I wanted to sell this sneaker, I wouldn't even make all my money back because the resale price of this sneaker has dropped that much. Apparently, there's a lot of people out there that aren't blown away by this sneaker just like I'm not. I mean, for 300 bucks, Adidas could have at least thrown in a couple other lace options. Even though I'm complaining about this sneaker, it's still gonna get worn and it's not getting sold. On a scale to one to 10, I'm giving this sneaker a solid seven. I mean, the sneaker's not whack, but it's also not a sneaker that blew my mind as soon as I opened the box and had it in hand. The sneaker retailed for 300 bucks and came out to about 320 something dollars after taxes. The resale value for this sneaker isn't much over retail. For this size 13, I'm seeing the resale value going for only around 350 bucks. I mean, you were already dropping a lot of money when you were trying to get it for retail, so what's 50 more bucks? So if you really want this sneaker, hop on that resale market and I guarantee you won't have a problem finding your size. Is this sneaker worth $300? I don't know, bruh. And this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700.
Another Yeezy sneaker added to the collection. Even though I wasn't blown away by it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be rocking this sneaker pretty soon. And even if I didn't like them and wanted to resell them, the fact that I couldn't make a huge profit on reselling a Yeezy sneaker is another indication that the Yeezy hype is slowly dying. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button for me, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notification button right next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I'm DJ Swaver. This was another episode of Item and Box Openings. And until next time, peace.